We're unboxing the May 2023 Keto Crate right after this. Hey guys, welcome to the May 2023 edition of the Keto Crate Unboxing. Don't forget, you can use the link in the description box below to get a discount on your very first Keto Crate, or you can stick around to the end to see how you could win your very own Keto Crate. Let's go. All right, first, I knew it felt like a meat stick. I knew it felt like a meat stick. This is uh, Mission Meats. Oh, but at least it's Mission Meats. I love Mission Meats. This is a tasty original beef stick. Uh, it doesn't have the nutritional information on it, but I'm sure if you go to missionmeats.co, you can find it. It says, yeah, for nutritional information, go to missionmeats.co slash facts. Um, but the ingredients, beef, water, salt, encapsulated citric acid, cultured celery powder, so probably uncured um, original meat stick. We'll see. Next, oh, oh, look how big this bag is. Okay, okay, Keto Crate delivering like retail large size. What is this? Look at these Keto Cheddar Puffs from Schoolyard Snacks. I am loving this branding. I mm, This is a huge bag. I mean, this is large. Fewer carbs, more protein, all flavor. Uh, so there are, yeah, three and a half servings per container. I mean, this is huge. A serving size is one ounce and the calories are 120, five and a half grams of fat, three total carbs, and 16 grams of protein. So three total carbs per serving. I mean, look at this big bag though. She big, I'm here for it. Ingredients, milk, protein isolate, ugh, sunflower oil, cheddar cheese seasoning. First ingredient, maltodextrin, come on. Whey solids, sour cream powder. Uh, I mean, here's the thing. Lots of protein, lots of like dust components, right? Um, I mean, this is a huge, this bag is huge. Like I can't say that enough. Uh, I'm excited to try these. I think I might've had these before. Who makes these where we've had the regular version and the hot version? Who was that? But regardless, I've had some cheese snacks before, some protein cheese snacks, so I'll be excited to try these. Next, ooh, it's a box. Ooh, do you know how many thousands of dollars worth of keto merchandise this is? A whole box of Catalina Crunch? This cost the, pretty much the cost of the Keto Crate itself. This is, oh look, it says improved recipe. Mm, chocolate vanilla sandwich cookies. Now I am very excited about this. Um, we've had these before. I don't know if we've had the improved recipe, but I am definitely here for it. A better way to crunch. You, you go, Catalina. Serving size, two cookies. Yeah. Um, per two cookies, 90 calories, six grams of fat, 12 total carbs. There are three fiber, four allulose. So is that five net carbs? Don't care. Yeah, okay. It doesn't have the net carb. You better have the net carbs. Four grams of protein. First ingredient, palm fruit oil, allulose, pea protein, cane sugar. Let's watch out there. Cassava flour chicory root fiber, tapioca starch. I mean, once again, they're sandwich cookies, you guys. Like health is not a factor, or it's not definitely not the main factor when we're trying these. I wanna see how they taste. Next, what is this? Ooh, look at Raw Rev with the rebrand. Okay. Oh, stop trying to read my shirt, bro. Okay. Oh, mm. Look at that, that is beautiful. Okay, peanut butter, dark chocolate, and sea salt. Now, I've had Raw Rev Glow Bars for years, and I like the way they taste. They're very subtle, um, but I wonder if the new packaging comes with like also a new recipe, I don't know. But I'm excited to try this. So one serving per bar, one bar per serving. Um, 
210 calories, 14 grams of fat, 16 total carbs, nine fiber, and 12 grams of protein. Guys, both these and the Catalina have two grams added sugar. I mean, not only is there sugar, it's like, it's not naturally occurring, it's added. So like, think about that, okay? Um, but once again, I'm, I'ma still try it. Ingredients, peanuts, chicory root fiber, soluble tapioca fiber, organic dark chocolate chips, in which the very first ingredient is cane sugar, um, chocolate liquor, cocoa butter, soy lecithin, brown rice protein. A bar is a bar is a bar. I want it to taste good. Next, what is this? Oh, chipmunk lemon poppy seed. Now I'm definitely pretty sure we've had this before because I remember saying the words lemon poppy seed and being like, oh, lemon poppy seed. Um, but I mean, I'm always here for a cookie. Serving size one cookie, 190 calories, 16 grams of fat, 20 total carbs. Ah! Um, three fiber, the rest is allulose, I'm sure. 15 grams of allulose, so that's two uh, net carbs. Ingredients, almond flour, allulose, butter, eggs, lemon, lemon ex extract, monk fruit, salt, cognac powder. I mean, a whole bunch of little things after that. That's not bad, but uh, it looks to be an almond flour based cookie with allulose being the main sweetener. <gasps> oh, Duncan Hines once again, okay? I'm not mad when the global brands make their way into the keto crate, you know, like sure, right? Like are the ingredients no, no, okay. I am open to trying anything. Duncan Hines keto friendly chocolate chip cookie. And let's see, five grams of net carbs. Thank you for letting us know. Okay, serving size per container. Well, first of all, how do you prepare the cookie? So remove film from cup, add two tablespoons cool melted butter and one tablespoon water. Try replacing the butter with coconut or avocado oil. Mm, thank you for those options, but I will be using the butter. Okay, microwave on high for one minute. Let cool for two minutes. Um, in the microwave. Okay, so that's why I had to understand. So we're essentially adding 200 calories, all fat to this. Yeah, so per prepared cookie, because that's how I'm gonna eat it with the two tablespoons of butter, 510 calories. 39 grams of fat. Yeah, most of that comes from the two tablespoons of butter. 33 grams of carbs, woo! 10 fiber, nine sugar alcohols. So then I'm, I'm sure the rest is allulose. Uh, and then eight grams of protein. So yeah, first ingredient, almond flour. Second ingredient, erythritol. Third ingredient, allulose. And then coconut flour. And then inulin, palm oil, unsweetened chocolate, egg whites, rice bran e extract. I mean, honestly, like these days, this isn't too uh, too different than any of the products I just read. So like, I'm excited to try it. Next, what is this? Genius Gourmet. Okay, Genius Gourmet. Okay, there's a lot of air in this, which makes me nervous. Like I feel like it would make me feel better if this was like more sealed. Like I feel like, what what is this? Like the bar is just floating around inside there. I'm checking to see if it's open. It doesn't look open. It's just a loose packaging of peanut butter chocolate, crispy protein treat. That's legitimately what it says. <laughs> peanut butter chocolate, crispy protein treat. Now Genius Gourmet makes the chips that we absolutely love, but now we're gonna try this peanut butter chocolate protein treat. It looks, I think it looks like a Rice crispy on the top with a chocolate coated bottom. And you know we are here for a chocolate coated bottom. Okay, serving size one bar. Although I will tell you, I feel like it's it's cracked or like broken half because there's two separate bars. Yeah, there's two separate pieces in here, but it's one bar, only has 100 calories, four grams of fat, 10 total carbs, six fiber. So that's four net carbs uh, and then 10 grams of protein. Ingredients, protein blend, polydextrose, water, Ooh, look at this word. Fructo oligosaccharide. Vegetable oil, peanut, soluble corn fiber. I mean, these are all just starting to sound the same at this point. I wanna see how it tastes. Next. Did they do this? Did they do this because of me? 
we have even more Tastelli drinkable cognac jelly. This is the mango pineapple flavor. I think the last time it was the peach flavor and it just wigged our entire family out. <laughs> um, yeah, this is great. Uh, it's just, everything is zero. Yeah. Except for the carbs. Cause it's all like fiber. So the first ingredient is water, erythritol, phyto collagen, mango extract. Yeah. I'm, oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. 13 sugar alcohol. So there are serving sizes, one container. Yeah. So there are essentially three net carbs. <sighs> we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Thank you. Taste deli. And is this finally? Yes, finally we have, oh, so they had some left over because we're back with the super fat um, the keto cookie bite. So this is the peanut butter chocolate chip. I'm happy to see that because I like this flavor better than the regular chocolate chip. So I'm excited to see this back. These were more like peanut butter mounds. Like they definitely, I feel like they had a hump on top of them, um, but I'm excited to try them. So 290 calories for the entire container. Thank you very much. 25 grams of fat, 21 grams of total carbs, 11 sugar alcohol, six fiber, four grams of net carbs per the whole container, and then 10 grams of protein. I'm here for it. Once again, the main, the first ingredient is peanuts, then erythritol, then butter, then chocolate chips. So this is a peanut based cookie versus the almond flour based cookies that we had everywhere else. <clears throat> okay, that's it. But overall, I mean, did somebody say cookies? Cookies, anyone? Like, th this is not the keto crate, it's the cookie crate, okay? And I am here for it because there are things from brands that I already know that I love. There's new products from brands that I already love. There's like huge retail size packaging of things, like, Let's go. I'm here for it. I'm excited. Mm, there's meat sticks. Mm. Now use the link in the description box below to purchase your very own keto crate at a discount or comment below and we might draw your name as the winner of this keto crate on our smash the crate series. That's the monthly series where me and my husband and mother try all of these products so we could let you know how they taste. Leave a comment on this video and then we'll draw the winner in the next video. Um, I had a lot of y'all rocking with the Taste Deli cognac jelly last time. Color me surprised, right? Like I never knew this product existed until I saw it in a keto crate, um, but it's good to know that so many of you like it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what product you have tried, would like to try, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Mm-mm-mm.